So yeah, basically these these three pieces and these sculptures you see on the floor, uh, they are part of a world. It's a kind of an ongoing project that I'm. I'm developing a world called Dimona. It's a world set in some kind of distant future where kind of humans have reached like an extreme kind of stage of the Anthropocene. So like, like they've, they finally managed to kill, get rid of all the other complex living beings and now they are alone. It's just themselves, their buildings and the little objects. So they finally achieved the goal of, of controlling nature and the way of controlling nature is just exterminating it. Dimona's main, main goal as a society is progress and productivity and efficiency. So it's, it's, a, it's a society which it, it works as a collective, it's a collective effort to be more productive, more efficient, to optimize. So it's a society pretty much based on maths and science and anything that is, is not maths and science has been completely banned and, and, and forbidden for centuries ago. Even spirituality, as you can see in some of, 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 the, of the work, which is, is a thing in Dimona, but spirituality, the, the old notion of God has been replaced by um, by faith on, on numbers and they've developed a spirituality around, around, around the numbers and around science and, and, that's, and that's something that is very much present in, in Dimona. So I guess in this case it's, there's a sense of, there's not a social mobility as such, as in you cannot move from one to the other, but it's not by birth. Is is not is not something. It's like ah, oh, you're born. You are the you are the children of a technocrat, or so you are a technocrat. Or no, the Monos is an extremely meritocratic uh, society. So it's 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 down to your skills, abilities, and, and capacities. There's not a lot of violence. There's not a need of, of of imposing. So the idea of this big kind of army generals or army um, or this factic um, forces is, is, is not a big thing in Dimona. So actually the highest echelon of this, of this society are the Technocratos, which is, is this person that, that we see here, which is, a, they are like some kind of priests, like a high nobility, high aristocracy, but also they are, they are all a form of, of, yeah, kind of priests. And what they do all day, the main function is just to meditate. And through this meditation, they come up with mathematical formulas and algorithms that then they pass on to, to the lower classes and, and eventually that's what they use to, to constantly upgrade the ways in which they make this society more efficient and to optimize also uh, people's behaviors. Down below them there's the uh, managers, which they are like some form of middle, they are the equivalent of, of today of the middle, middle managers, like there's some form of a middle management kind of uh, class, which are the ones that they, they get, they received all the all the findings from the technocrats, all the new new formulas, new equations, new algorithms, and also to pass on all these to pass on all these uh, mathematical formulas and algorithms to the people below them, who, that will transform them into binary code. And then below the middle managers are the miners. The miners basically are people who spend all their time in, in this kind of single cubicles. They, they live on their own, they, they live in this kind of um, units and they hardly have any contact with each other so they pretty much live alone most, most of the time. And also because they live in these living units, I guess that's something that happens to all everyone in Dimona. They have a lot of time for themselves, a lot of time to think, a lot of time to, to, to um, consider things and that, so there's 
there's an element of, of, of calmness, and calmness and peacefulness in this, in this world. Also, no one, you don't need to choose anything, so uh, all the choices are made for you. So, so you have a lot of time just to contemplate life and, and your surroundings. Um, and then the lower class, they are the only people who are allowed to, um, to do manual work. They are the only people who, they, they, they do maintenance of buildings, things, objects. They deliver nutrients to the miners. They actually inflict uh, punishment to the people who kind of somehow disturb the, the flow or, the, or this sort of, um, of the collective effort of, of, of of being more efficient and, and everyone that sort of somehow goes off off road gets gets punished and this this is this the manuals are the ones that inflict the punishments and also a very important thing they have to take the miners every day they have to take them out for a little mini exercise mini mini yeah outside. Uh, and, and the miners are absolutely terrified of that just because they live, they spend all their life in these man-made cubicles and when they are exposed to the immensity of the sky and this sort of ever-changing thing with the clouds and the, the sunlight and the weather which is the only thing they've, in Dimona they, they haven't been able to fully control the only element where you can see still nature at, at play so they get some form of existential vertigo, the, um, these miners, so they are absolutely horrified of, of being outside. So the manuals, they have to take them by force every day and, and, and get them to spend a little, just a tiny bit of time outside. And the only reason why they do that, because all the optimization studies that they've done, they've, um, they found out that these guys, besides Despite being scared of the sky, they are actually more productive if they go outside once, once a day. We see also a minor, a, a minor kind of running away from something, probably from, from the manuals that took him out. And then we see him collapsing on, on the floor, probably due to this sort of, for an excess of freedom, sadly, just probably the act of, of running and the act of running outdoors is too much for his system to, to digest and he ends up collapsing on the floor. Um, so, and we see the manuals at, at work. The manuals also are the only ones, they keep the oral traditions as well. They are the only people who have more like of a, they are in touch with each other, they talk. They, are, they also deal with all the other classes because they need to deliver food, they need to do repair things, so they are the ones who somehow, besides, they are the lowest class, but somehow they have a lot of power. And, and in a way, all of, all of the others are quite scared of them. And also in a, in a world when, when hardly anyone does any kind of form of manual work, and where violence is almost unexistent, the only people who are allowed to, to use violence are these guys, so somehow all the rest are quite scared of like the manuals have a lot of a lot of power. It's it's, an, it's an, a strange uh, society in which the lower class somehow is in a way maybe almost one of the most powerful. About the idea, I guess there's a lot of things about my work of like what humans do to themselves, which is something that always puzzles me. Why why would why do? Because most of the problems that we experience if not all of them, they are self-inflicted, which is, is a crazy thing. Humans, the main problems of humans are self-inflicted. Back then, at least in the Middle Ages, a lot of them were not self-inflicted. A lot of them was like, oh, there's bad weather, the crops, the... And the more, the more our society advances, the more self-inflicted our, our, our problems. It's like, why do humans are self, like self they, they, they self-inflict so much kind of pain into themselves. And that's obviously, a, a, yeah, that's in a way the basis of, of, a, of a dystopian society. It's just someone 
devising a new model of society and, and that society not working out and collapsing. So I think definitely an inv invitation for change, an invitation to reflect and, and, and to reflect on, on us how much of how much of, of this we are now and how much of this is a metaphor of, of our own, own world and, and, and how dehumanized we are and how can, what can we do to improve that and how, what can we do to become a bit more human and a bit less of a, of a machine. <laughs>